come down and do a little demi squat. If that doesn't feel wide enough, take your feet a little wider. If that feels out of control, bring your feet in a little bit. Here we go, wide squat. Inhale, exhale. Yep, so you got lots of versions of this one. I'm showing hanging on to something for balance and my other arm lifting and lowering. But there's lots of ways to do this. Find a way that feels comfortable on your knees and your back and your shoulders. As always, unmute and ask me for help if you need help. I'm going to do four. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Two. So I'm calling this side number one. I'm going to hold. This hand comes up and over. If you were doing both arms moving, just pick a side. And then we'll repeat this on side number two in a second. Big side bend, stretch, pull oh, up. Take a big inhale. And you can always take a break when we're doing any of these little series. If you need a rest break, if you need a water break, one more. Now see if you can hold your squat, lift and lower your heels. Firm up this arm. We're just going to do 10. That's three. Lift and lower. See how smooth you can make this lift. And lower halfway there. Last five. Lift and lower. Four. Three. Two. Good job, ladies. Last one. Take a break. If you need a rest break, shake out your leg. So I mentioned this the other day. The beauty of having the roller instead of like a ballet bar or a heavy dining chair. You can just pick it up and move it. <laughs> side number two, if you're using a chair, just move yourself around. Okay, side number two. Do a test run, maybe. See how feet position. Theoretically, at the bottom of my wide squat, I'm just about 90. Meaning, knees over my ankle. So if I come in here, I could probably take a wider stance if I'm, if I'm finding my knees going way out past my toes. So find a challenging but doable leg position. Uh oh, I'm talking and counting. I'm going to say we got four. Three. Two. Hold this next one. We got our big side bend. Oh, this feels good. Notice if this side feels any thicker here. Easier to move. Breathe into your ribs and shoulder and waist. Ah, see how you can make this easy. We're still warming up. Last one. Hold your arm. Do something with this arm. Like if I was going to come shove you, that arm wouldn't move. Lift and lower your heels. And of these guys. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, last one. Then come on up, shake out your legs. This is your leg circle. I'm going to start with feet together, button everything up, squeeze your inner thighs, narrow your ribs, broaden your shoulders, and then bring one leg front, side, and back. So that's my big circle. Front, side, back. This could be fast or slow. You could watch this hip with your hand, make sure it's not wiggling. You could add your arm circle if you want a little brain challenge. Turn and look around the room. Breathe. Let's try five quick, quick and quick and quick and quick. And quick, nice. Now let's do one really slow. I'm going to bend down, almost like I'm pulling my sock onto my foot. Stretch my leg. You could bend your stand. Stretch up nice and tall. Bring your leg to the side. Bring your leg back and reach back. Maybe you can look back at the wall behind you for one more big deep breath. Now we're going to reverse. Leg goes back, same leg. Side. And front, so that's your circle. Back, side, front. I'm going at a speed where I can control my hip so that my hip isn't doing all this boogieing around. Yep, you can add the arm if you want. 
Make sure you're breathing. You can keep both knees really straight. Okay, so if this is your first time in this class or you haven't been in a while, take a dang break. Whenever you need, take a break. Now we got quick five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go slow. Leg goes to the back. Stretch both knees. Stretch your arm. Reach to the back wall. Look at your hand. Leg comes to the side. Lift your arm overhead. Stretch both sides of your waist. Leg goes to the front. Reach down maybe towards your foot or even testing your foot or your side. Come on up. Shake out your legs. All right. We're going with side number two. So far, yeah. so good. Yeah. Get, okay, get everything organized. This will help you not wiggle your hip if you think. Button my vest, broad shoulders, pull up on your kneecap so your legs are really straight. Leg number two goes front, side, back. Oh, and if you've got tennies on, just flex your foot and do your circle just slightly off the ground. That's a good version if you're wearing runners. Then your leg doesn't actually slide on the ground. If you've got socks, or bare feet, you can slide your foot. Now the arm. Ah. Oof. Let's do five quick. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go slow. Maybe you bend your standing leg. Reach way, 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 way down towards your foot. Bring your leg to the side. Lengthen both sides of your waist. Bring your leg back. And reach your arm, stretch your chest, look back at your hand, breathe. We're gonna reverse leg, go back, side, front, back, side, front. And the arm, if you like, whatever you wanna do with your arm, you can hold it out to the side, you can do some little circles. So if it's too much to figure out the arm and the leg, just do the leg circles. Remember, this is our first time doing our march moves. I'm gonna do two and then I'm gonna do a quick five. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, all the way back and stretch your leg and stretch your arm and look back at your hand. And then bring your leg to the side, stretch both sides of your waist, reach up with your arm, reach your leg to the front, maybe bend your standing leg. Reach down, almost like you're gonna pull your sock over your foot. Come on back up, shake out your leg. 